Yo, what's good, YouTube? Look, I got something in the mail yesterday. It was expensive as hell. I wanted to install it yesterday, but it was too cold. It's a little nice out right now, so we're going to do it today. It's in the car right now, so we're going to go outside. I'm going to show you what it is. And hopefully it's an easy install. It's not nothing too crazy, and I bought the right shit for it. But, um... Regardless, we're going to figure it out, and I'm going to show y'all how to install it, and what to do and what not to do if I run, if I come across some mistakes or something. So, we got outside real quick. first bike yeah oh GoPro he, you, you trying to race already you just sound like a little basso right, I'm gonna take these boxes out of my car so I can show y'all what it is I just needed to put my Hammer down somewhere. I don't got a tripod. I got this little, the little small one. I don't know, whatever. It's not time. I got that. Ha! Yo, put that bike somewhere, bro. Let me try to record a fucking video. Alright, so look. I already opened this up because I'd be paranoid. And I want to make sure it wasn't broken or anything when they shipped it to me. And I wasn't going to um, retape it and do a fake unboxing. But I'm about to show y'all what I got. Some of y'all probably already know by the box. But here it is. So these are the headlights for the 2019 and up Maximus. It's four LED, so they don't take no bulbs. And they look like jewel eyes. So I find these hard, way better than the factory one. So I was like, you know what, let me get them. I saw a few people install it. Not any videos or anything, but I saw a few people um, put it on their car on this body style. The, the pre facelift model and it looks hard so now I had to get it for myself and then I bought these adapters to make it plug and play hopefully they work that way they plug into these headlights and the factory harness since the headlights on my car right now are different actually let me show you so these are the headlights that the 2016 2018 model come with all right so these are halogen you can get them from the factory with LEDs or like mine I have the base model so it was just regular halogen bulbs those ugly white bulbs and I just upgraded two LEDs in them shout out to my boy LED connect so that's the that's the factory headlights on the 2016 2018 model and the 2019 and up look like these These are hard. 
So, what I'm going to do is, I'm going to install it and hopefully show y'all how to put it in. Hopefully it ain't hard. But from all the digging around I've been doing in the forums and everything, the people that do actually do the headlight swap, um, so far they said it was pretty easy. Everything bolts up. The only thing is... Uh, when you put the bumper back on, you're going to get a little gap under the headlight. Not anything crazy, but uh, everything goes on perfectly fine. As long as I use the adapters, the headlights are going to bolt up no problem. And there's my brother. Thanks, bud. Thanks, Izzy. But yeah, so hopefully it's not a hard uh, install. So what I'm going to do now is... Should I air it out a little more? Nah, it should be good. All right, so I'm gonna start by taking the bumper off. And then I can already see there's one bolt right here. And then I'm gonna take this, so I gotta take this off too to take the bumper off. So let me take the bumper off real quick. Took forever. Alright, so my battery about to die already. That's tough. But I took the bumper off. So I can see it right here. Now it looks like there's one bolt right here. There's one bolt right here. That's two. This is three right under it um, and I think that's it no way there's only three one bolt right there another one right there another one right there and I think the I think this one's a clip, but this is like a another bolt right here too. Hold on, let me see. Oh, it's this one. All right, so it's four. It's four bolts. One right here. One right here. One on the side, and one under it right here. So one, two, three, four. All right, let me take these bolts out. See if everything lines up. I got the headlight out. Let me show y'all what I did. So, the headlight was in with those four bolts that I showed y'all. Right, the four bolts. One, there's, a, it's right here. The, the second one. Two, and then the third one is right here. Three, and then four. Took those four bolts out. Now, when you slide the headlight forward, when you slide the headlight forward, you don't have to unplug your low beam and your high beam, your turning signal, none of that. So you see it's still plugged in. You don't have to unplug any of the, um, any of those sockets. This one right here, this one right here, you don't have to unplug that. You just need to unplug this big connector right here. Because the factory wiring harness, which is... factory wiring harness has this plug that goes into the headlight 
and that controls everything so you don't have to unplug any any other any other um connector but this one see it was in it like this so that's the one i unplugged and boom the whole headlight came out we're gonna grab this one and well first i'm gonna plug it in and see if it works so let's do that right now remember i showed y'all that uh the adapters this is what's gonna plug into that big gray plug over here. And then the other end's gonna plug into this headlight, since it's two different plugs. So hopefully everything works right now. I'm gonna test it right now and see if it works. It's daytime, so y'all probably can't see much, but let me see. DRLs are on. I guess when you turn the headlights on, they like dim down, but it's harder. It was harder to see during the daytime, but because the sun is out. But yeah, they are on. All right, I'm gonna turn all the lights on in the hazard seat. You know, I'm gonna make sure the turning signals work. All right, so all the lights are on. Turning signals, low beams, high beams, ERL is on. Fire, fire. So this is this is how the new ones look. And that's the old one right there. All right, now let me put this headlight on. Uh, also, the adapters, these adapters, I'll leave the, the, the link in the description down below. But these adapters also come with the guy that makes it. He also wires resistors on them so you don't get hyper flash. Me, I don't care about hyper flash, but a lot of people don't like when it blinks fast. So, see, so you have the adapter from this. This side goes into the headlight. This side plugs into your factory harness, and then you have the resistor. You could drill it anywhere or zip tie it somewhere to tuck it. But yeah, so so far this one works. Hopefully the other side is good. But let me put this one in now. Alright, so, so far from what I'm seeing is, over here lines up like pretty good, not not like all the way the best, but it's pretty good. Like you can see, it gets a little bit bigger of a gap right here, but over here at this little corner, you can, there's like a, there's a gap right here. It's not crazy big, like that's not going to bother me, but for some people, that might bother them, that hole right there but the bolts line up perfectly like even the little tabs they slide in there's a little tab right here that goes in this hole that slid in the bolts l lined up perfectly one two three and four so that that i mean that's probably the best it's gonna get right there so i'm gonna tighten it up and then do the other side Now that I installed the driver side, I'm gonna do the passenger side. I'm not gonna show the process because you already saw the driver side. It's the same exact thing. I'm just gonna repeat it. So that way I don't have to worry about the camera and everything. So I'm gonna do the uh, passenger side and then I'll show y'all when it's both on with the bumper on. I'm gonna just skip all that. But I'm gonna go do that right now. All right guys, so I finished it. This is how it looks. Oh my god, it looks crazy. Full LED. But. So. Oh, y'all can't even see me. Here it is. So the people that did install these um, on their cars before, they are right. They don't fit perfect. And you have to like. When, when you're putting the bumper back on, you have to like really tug at it to try to get the try to get them in the clips on the sides where the wheels are 
like look let me show you so on this side it actually lines up pretty good over here is pretty good <clears throat> the other side though like you see this it's not it's not perfect it's not bad but it's not perfect it's a little it's a little off on this side I try to play with it around a little bit and try to line up as best as I can but I, that's what I was able to do and the part that it really doesn't fit um flush at which you can't really tell unless you walk up to the car and look at it it's right under the headlight right here oh let me turn the lights off So if you look right here, you see that gap under the headlight? That is where it's like, it doesn't sit flush. I, I could put my finger in here, you see? Right inside, you can see it like right under it too, where that gray clip is. So for people like me, that's gonna bother me. Maybe in the future, I can try to see where on the bumper, where on the bumper is where I need to like trim down or something. But like, you see on this side too, you can't really tell cause like the lighting is casting a shadow, but it's a, it's a pretty decent gap here. You see all of that right there. You can't really see. But there's a gap under the, under the headlight to where it meets the bumper on this side and on that side. But it don't look that bad from far away. From a distance, you don't really see nothing. It's because there's these tabs on the bumper right here that's supposed to clip into that gray clip, and they don't line up. See that gray clip right there? The tabs for the bumper, it's, it's, it's hard to show y'all on camera, but the tabs for the bumper sit lower than that great clip so they don't clip onto there but yeah that's how they look the install was pretty easy wasn't too bad so right now i'm gonna try to get some like b-roll footage of it and then i'm gonna try to get some night shots so you can see how it looks at night can't get over how the lights look man they're so fire but um hopefully the b-roll y'all just saw i got some nighttime footage in there and i didn't get lazy so hopefully yeah hopefully i took some footage during the day and the night because i just took some right now but i definitely want to get some at night so y'all can see how it looks rolling or with the lights on at night if i can't get no rolling shots but um <laughs> Oh yeah, one more thing I forgot to tell y'all. This is one important step I forgot to do when I was installing the lights. Please disconnect y'all battery. Don't do what I did and risk something happening. So make sure y'all disconnect y'all battery before doing anything electrical on your car. Most of the time nothing's gonna happen, but it's uh it's just a safety measure. It's better, it's better safe than sorry. So it's better to do that and you know instead of testing your luck but yeah so that's gonna be it for today's video guys um if you find this video helpful then let me know in the comments um if you have any questions any of my eighth gen maxima guys or gals out there that need help with installing it and i didn't do too well in explaining anything on the video then just uh just let me know my Instagram, I leave it in the description on every single video. So if you have any questions, just DM me. I don't, I'm not bougie. I don't gatekeep anything. 
I don't mind helping nobody. I mean, I don't mind helping everybody out. So, if you have any questions or anything, leave it down below in the comments or in the description. If you click my IG down there, just DM me on there. Um, if you like the videos, make sure you hit that thumbs up. Uh, let me know in the comment section. And also, I'm probably going to be saying this for every video. If y'all have any ideas of videos y'all want me to record, please let me know down below. It could be car related, not car related. It could be anything, anything. Just let me know. I, I want to try a whole bunch of things out and see which one works, which one doesn't work, whatever. But yeah, so I hope y'all enjoyed today's install video. Um, hopefully I helped any of my HM Maximal people out there. If y'all looking to do the same thing that I just did. Um, like I said earlier, I'll leave the link in the description for the adapters that I bought to make it plug and play. You get no warning signs on your dash. None. My e-brake is... My, I always put my e-brake down. That's why you see that. And my seatbelt is off. That's why. But I got no warning lights. Also, keep in mind, my Maxima is a base model. I don't have... Um, like some of the upper trims come with factory LEDs. Like the 2016 to uh, the 2016 to 2018 models, some of the factory upper trims come with, you know, LEDs. Uh, I don't know if they're bulbs or if they're built in, whatever the case may be. So take that into consideration. I don't know if when you put the adapters in, if if you'll get like a a headlight warning or a headlight error light on the dash or something like that. I don't know. All I know is I have a base model. They came with factory halogen bulbs, so I don't have no extra wiring, sensors, whatever the case may be. And I have no error codes or nothing. All the lights, all, all the lights work fine. Damn, I can't even talk. What the fuck is wrong with me? But all the lights work fine. I got no error message, and they look great. So this is part one of the V2 build this year. We start in 2023 all strong. This is part one. I got more. I got a lot more stuff to put on. So there's going to be a lot more videos. And this wrap that's about to be on my car. Well, this is the build series to, to start taking my car to shows this year. So hopefully it works out good. And I'll have no problems because I'm broke as hell. And um, what I said for today's video don't be afraid to subscribe it's free that button is right down there it's free subscribe show love <coughs> holy shit and i'll see you on the next one peace <laughs>